This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. Hey, the coldest night in about 18 years. Get ready for the single digits. Uh, let's go in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network. That's the Kalman Skycam. And at the time that image was captured, it was 14 degrees. That's in the middle of the day with the sun shining brightly. The wind chill index was four below zero. Just brutal. Here's a look at the frozen tundra of the football field at Hamilton High School up in Marion County. They were sitting at 17 when that image was captured. And even down here, it's cold. That's the Gulf Shore Sky Cam. And uh, it was 35, barely above freezing at midday. And that's a sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites looking down over the hangout. What a uh, contrast to the days we see down there in, in summertime in July and August. There you go. There's the uh, polar vortex. Yeah, I'm tired of people saying that. There's always a polar vortex. It's no big deal. It, it's just displaced farther to the south. In fact, there's a larger look at the uh, upper airflow over North America. And it's a cross-polar flow. And uh, that trough into the United States is just delivering a shot of big-time cold. Those are mid-afternoon temperatures, only 15 at Huntsville and Haleyville. You know, we ought to be in the low 50s here in early January. Coleman sitting at 16 at that point. Birmingham was at 22. But, you know, the wind chill index is near zero in most of these places with a biting north wind. And around the nation, wind chill indices down to 65 below zero in parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota today, just too cold. Needless to say, we have wind chill warnings in effect for much of the eastern half of the nation. In fact, up in Minnesota, that is a PDS wind chill warning. PDS meaning particularly dangerous situation. You, you often associate those with tornado watches. Well, how about one for a wind chill warning? Okay, this is the rain for the next five days, ballot through Saturday evening, and this is suggesting rain amounts of maybe one half to three quarters of an inch. And to get the idea of the bulk of that's going to be late Friday night into the day Saturday. We'll keep an eye on this. This is the freezing rain possibilities, the chance of accumulating freezing rain greater than one hundredth of an inch valid from Wednesday. I'm sorry, a valid. Yes, Wednesday evening at six o'clock through Thursday evening at six o'clock. And the bullseye is over Arkansas and some of the adjacent states, including the Mississippi Delta. But we don't expect any freezing rain issues here. Take a look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid tomorrow afternoon at 12 noon. And the uh, flow beginning to relax a little bit, but it's going to take a while to uh, modify this air mass. The surface high tomorrow is over south Mississippi. And uh, e even tomorrow in the middle of the day, the freeze line, that red line, is in the Gulf, south of Gulf Shores. Uh, tomorrow morning, we'll say lows between 5 and 10 We'll still have some wind. The wind chill index below zero, but during the day, the wind should go calm. And uh, despite sunshine and full force, the high only in the mid-20s as our long period of sub-freezing temperatures continue. This is Wednesday. Now, Wednesday morning is going to be cold. We are expecting lows down in the 10 to 15 degree range at daybreak Wednesday. But finally, finally, Wednesday afternoon, we climb up into the low 40s. You can see the uh, freeze line north of Nashville at midday Wednesday. That will end our streak of consecutive sub-freezing hours with uh, 60 or more. This is Thursday. The warming trend continues. Uh, Thursday, we should reach the low to mid-50s. It looks like the day will be dry with any showers west of the state. And this is some evidence here that there might be some uh, snow near Nashville uh, Thursday morning and uh, Thursday morning, maybe a touch of freezing rain around Memphis and the Delta. We'll kind of watch that. Uh, but again, we're thinking Thursday for now should be dry here with a mix of sun and clouds. This is Friday and really Friday. The main action stays west of here. The warming trend continues. We'll reach the mid to upper 50s. Uh, and then this is where uh, rain comes in as the weekend begins. This is a look at Saturday and you can see troughing to the west and down below that a nice batch of showers passing through. And uh, by golly, a warm front could pass north of here. And the latest GFS is suggesting we might see a high of 70 on Saturday. I think that's a little overdone, but I do think we reach the 60s. And again, there might even be some thunder with this, as there will be a touch of surface-based instability. Oh, how we can go from 5 degrees to having a chance of thunder in a few days. Must be the deep south down here. This is Sunday, and the latest run here looks dry. Uh, Sunday looks... Uh, 
Rain-free with showers down to the south, and this is Monday a week from today. That looks dry. Temperatures would be seasonal with lows in the 30s and highs in the 50s if this is right. So uh, at this point, the uh, greatest chance of seeing any uh, uh, rain over the weekend more than likely will be on Saturday. All right, let's go a little deeper in the month. This is a look at uh, January 17th, evidence of another cold front, another shot of cold air coming down the pike. A few showers, maybe a few snow showers, if this is right, just north of here. And then this is January 18th. We've got a trough axis west of the state, and down below that, that's almost mischievous there, mischievous there with uh, cold air in place and some type of uh, gulf low forming. Uh, I'm not saying that's a snow chance, but I'm saying that's awfully close to a snow chance there. We'll just kind of keep an eye on that. And on the 22nd, look at that. We really uh, warm up uh, at the end of the forecast. I mean, much of the nation goes warm, and you can see the correlation here with the Arctic Oscillation, the AO. Notice how it goes down negative one more time around the 17th through the 21st. Then it goes very strongly positive, and just maybe we'll see a big uh, thaw later this month. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.